Living in the UK. The pros and cons. There are always two sides to anything called coins. For that token, we can't realistically expect everything about living in the UK to be cool. There must be some dark side. That's why I want to discuss the pros and cons of living in the UK in this video. Americans or anyone moving to London will not have a hard time noticing some of these pros and cons of living in the UK compared to the US or other countries. Yes, those differences manifest themselves in way of life, driving, transportation system, security, economy and wealth management. However, you don't have to be an American before you notice these differences. Some of them are positive and remarkable, while some others are not so positive. Those negative differences are enough to scare people away from the United Kingdom. Nevertheless, some expats who are more objective only see these as mere differences in cultures and locality. Don't forget though, the United Kingdom is made up of four big countries with remarkable differences in certain features. Therefore, living in London will be different from living in Belfast, Edinburgh and Cardiff. Yet these pros and cons of living in the United Kingdom are compiled broadly with common factors in all the countries making up the kingdom. Some of them may not apply in certain areas. Now let's start with the pros. 1. Free and great healthcare. The most precious possession you could pay anything for is health. Did you know that caring for this is free in the United Kingdom? This is the first pro of living in the UK. If you want to have an idea of how great the UK healthcare service is, consider what obtains in London. It's a token of how health is being managed in the kingdom. The NHS is there to ensure that no one dies because of a lack of access to medical care. The system compulsorily takes care of your health by making it mandatory for everyone with the capacity to earn to be enrolled in the country's health programme. Therefore, whenever there's a medical issue, there's always something in the system to care for it. It's an aberration for a legal resident in the UK to be denied the needed medical services. This is because healthcare is actually free. 2. Job Opportunities Another pro of living in the UK is the job opportunities available in the country. There's plenty of jobs in the UK, not only in London. According to recent data from the Office for National Statistics, the employment rate in the country is 75.3%, with a constant decrease of 0.4% every quarter. The United Kingdom is not among the countries where you'll cry about unemployment, that's why people are moving to the UK from all parts of the world to find work. Those who are seemingly jobless in the country have issues with their employability or mental attitude. The English language is a very good reason why employment opportunities are abundant there. Another reason is that the UK is highly industrialised and this always creates the need for skilled and semi-skilled workers. 3. Good Education Education in the UK is enviably good because of devolution. Each of the countries has different supervisory bodies for its school systems. While the UK government is in direct charge of education in England, the Scottish and Welsh governments are responsible for education in those schools. In Northern Ireland, the executive is responsible for school management. This enables the system to be tailored to the aptitude and intellectual upbringing of kids in each locality. What makes it so good is that education is compulsory through the length and breadth of the UK for children aged 4 or 5 to 16. The education system is divided into four main parts, namely primary, secondary, further education and higher education. 4. It's safe compared to many countries. A serious pro to living in the UK is the low crime rates. Compared to many countries, it's safe to live and do business in the UK. For instance, in 2020, the crime rate in the UK was 96.4 per 1,000 people. If this is broken down further, it's much lower in many areas. That figure was just an average while petty crimes are included. 
5. Few Environmental Risks to Life While the UK is faced with some environmental issues, the risks that the environment poses to lives are so few. Air pollution and climate change have been linked and fingered as the major agents for environmental risks, yet the UK can't be described as a polluted country. For instance, in the 2019 IQ Air's World's Most Polluted Countries report, the UK was ranked 21st least polluted country out of global countries. This is another pro of living in the UK. 6. Multicultural Another pro of living in the UK is that you would be living in a multicultural society where you would have the opportunity of seeing firsthand the culture and ways of life of people from all over the world. By moving to the UK, you're likely going to work, live, travel, commute, shop, worship and socialise with people from all continents. You may even enter into a romantic relationship with someone you've never been to her country if ideal. In London alone, over 300 languages are spoken, and over 30% of the residents are born overseas or to migrant parents. 7. The police are marvellous. According to the data from the Crime Survey for England and Wales, the CSEW, around 55% of residents rate their police force good or excellent. The confidence level in the police force is derived from this figure. This policing culture is almost the same throughout the UK with similar characteristics, even though the force has to cope with tighter resources. And now to the cons. 1. Heavy drinking, drug taking culture. Because there's plenty of drinks in the UK and due to the affordability, you can easily find yourself on the wrong side of the law regulating drinking. While drinking alcohol is legal, Driving when drunk can take special or selective definitions in the UK. Also, although the law appears to turn a blind eye to the personal use of some drugs, non-medical use of some of these may earn you severe sentences. The UK yearly loses £21 to alcohol-related issues, with 10.8 million adults in England alone drinking at a level that poses risk to their health. The drug situation is scarier. 2. Weather The weather is unstable. We've heard enough of this con. It's unpredictable in the UK and you can't plan your next day or week based on any weather forecast, which is guesswork at best. 3. Tiny and expensive apartment The UK is not a place where you'd normally expect to live in a semi-detached duplex or a palatial living room. The apartments are too tiny and the price tags are humongous. Sorry for you if you're used to sleeping in your 12 by the 12 inch bed. The doors too are small. The apartment there are tiny and that's a great con. 4. The British are very cold. If you want to be positive, you would say that the English, Irish, Scots and Welsh are polite and are naturally reserved, especially those in England. What makes a con is that this has been taken too far as each person makes efforts to avoid slighting another. The result of this is the mind-your-own-business attitude which makes the British people too cold. It's so boring that neighbours don't care about each other's welfare. 5. Expensive and competitive rental market The initial shock awaiting those newly arriving in the UK is the cost of rent. The rental market is expensive and competitive. Unfortunately, most people planning on moving to London can't beat this. You must navigate this expensive and competitive rental market. This is a con of living in the UK. 6. Food There's plenty of food in the UK. In fact, cuisines from all parts of the world are here. However, the UK traditional foods are lacking in salt. For those used to eating salt either plentifully or moderately, this is a big con of living in London. The average person in the UK is believed to eat about 8.1 grams of salt a day. Due to product reformation by the food industry, this has even reduced a lot. 7. 
too crowded. And finally, there are crowds in most places in the UK. You don't have enough space for yourself. You have to start queuing for everything. You must wait in line to catch the tube or bus, to shop in stores, to eat in restaurants, to club, to be served by cash machines, to enter escalators, and even at airports. The UK is a place to queue. It's obvious from the foregoing that moving to the UK, like moving anywhere, has its positive and negative sides. I want to believe that expats, students and other migrants will have a lot to seriously consider before finally making their decisions about living in the United Kingdom. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell.